Salutations, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in TWR, the Thousand Week of Reich, in which we're playing as the United States of America. So, we must begin with the focus here. So, uh, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should try to intervene immediately or wait and give it some time. And while there is support for both sides, it was overall, from what I could tell at the time of this recording, uh, we should intervene. But first, we should expand the Toronto Accords accordingly. So, although the TA was forged out of what remained of the Western Allies after the war, that is no reason for why it should stay that way. There are still a handful of neutral powers left in Europe, and we can secure their entry into the Accord. So, we shall see what we can do about expanding. Oh, Romania declared war on Hungary. Hungary, well, I guess Romania wants Romania and... Unsurprising. Uh, so, there was one comment yesterday saying that I should stop reading focuses and only pause um, to allow everyone to read it. I could do that. But I, I found a lot more success if I actually read uh, read the focuses instead. Um, I actually prefer reading them myself out loud, just because it it gets me engaged. And maybe you guys as well, but gets me engaged into the video a lot more. Uh, maybe I could stop doing stop doing the southern accent, which probably is pretty cringy and pretty terrible. But uh, I like reading the focuses, regardless of mod, because it gets. I love stories, and this is all one big old story to me. Each campaign. The Germans are crushed, though, and the Ukraine Ukraine will never be stable. Well, we'll see what happens. And, uh, wow, there's so much war in Europe. Oh, the general government is, exists, but hopefully the Polish Home Army does win. Let's see if we can send some volunteers. And it looks like we cannot. Alright, so... Uh, it was recommended yesterday that we add APCs to our tanks. Someone left that comment and then realized, oh, whoops, I guess you already are planning to. Yeah, I do. I am planning on it. Go get rid of that. Uh, actually, don't get rid of that. Reset. we got to wait until we get to, like, 20 or 25, right? Yeah, 25. That's, that's so much. That's so much. But plan R4. With direct intervention, hello, inflation, uh, in Germany having been rejected, oh, boy. Uh, by the Toronto Accords members for the time being, British officials have approached us with a plan for an intervention of sorts using old war plans from the War of 1939-40. Sweden was a, of a vital source of iron for Germany, needed for its economy and war effort, and a plan was devised to invade Norway preemptively and cut off the supply. This was foiled by, with Germany's own invasion of Norway, but with the Nazi state on now having collapsed uh, into civil war, they are unable to hold on to their Norwegian puppet state. The old plan, known as Plan R4, has been re revived updated, and can be put into action, providing allied forces with a northern base of which to perform further operations, as well as cutting off Germany's iron ore supply. The British are requesting our backing and support to enact and carry out a planned invasion of Norway. Should we proceed? Full backing, it's too risky. Oh, we going straight all in. So, inflation decreases. With recent changes in interest rates by the Federal Reserve filtering through, the rate of inflation has been observed to have fallen by 0.2%. Inflation may well continue to fall past this point as the effects continue to feed through into the economy. Interesting. Yes, yeah, yes, interesting. Very interesting. The economy. Wow, that is actually looking really bad. Oh my goodness. So, a higher interest rate will lead to a reduction of inflation. So, we don't want to decrease inflation. 0.45? Mm, I don't know, man. I just want to intervene in war. Actually, UK? Hey! Yeah, there you go, buddy. Come on, UK, take out the Norwegians. The national government of Norway. And we're ranking number one so far in the world for GDP. Even though China is basically on the same level as the UK. Oh, that is not looking good. Now, y'all. Y'all national socialists. Y'all a bunch of Nazis. Uh, and let's see. Will they call me to war? Please, I want to join. I want to join. The British, yes. This Cold War is going to get hot, hot, hot. I love it. Let's do it. All right. So we got some... Uh, they say heavy cruisers, but really they're just light cruisers since we designed them to be so. See, there's no capital guns on here, so that is a great thing. I'm not really, really sure where to put you. Because, uh, actually, like we talked about earlier on in this campaign, like the very first episode, these uh, templates are not too bad. Uh, even though this one could be improved. Over here, 13 more subs. Go ahead. Just come right there. I don't really care. You guys stop doing that. Thank you. And begin. Submarine efforts around Norway. Uh, that'll be fine. You guys, where are you guys at? Massachusetts, this is the Atlantic Fleet, and this is the Pacific Fleet in California and Hawaii. That's fine, we only need one. You never know what might happen. Do that, uh, do that. But you're gonna take that off and actually rebase in the Scottish Islands. Beautiful. We have gone to war. Oh, and Romania's done. War reaches the fjords. A step towards something larger? Let's hope so. Uh, Japan. Uh, I'll call in Australia. That's fine. I'm not gonna call in the Japanese. 
We told them they had no more right to war, so well, let's not encourage that for now. They can build themselves up if they really like to. It's 53, of course. But let's see. Heavy aircraft, refueling, transports. We don't really need that for now. We have strategic destruction, which will go down, I guess. I almost never choose that. But let's get some carrier primacy. We do have a butt-ton of naval XP. Unification of Greater Romania. How unstable. Uh, but yes, we will accept some, accept some anti-tank from you guys. Thank you very much. And it's going to take, some, take them a while to get over here. Oh, as the Netherlands have joined. Yes, yes, yes. That yeah, Republic of Iceland, yes. Might as well throw everyone in. Alright, so you guys are training, which we're going to stop. <sighs> you guys are over here. I don't really want to send these tanks in. They're just not really ready to go. Where's my infantry? So you guys are over here. Uh, da, 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 dee, dee. Yeah, you know what? We'll send you guys over. Good luck. Don't get sunk. For the love of God, don't get sunk. I should really send some divisions to help out. But hold on. God, the subs are getting over there. Great. Oh yeah, we are we are really out of equipment here, which really is not good. But that's okay. All right. Yep. A little bit of lag. The Danish Revolution. Oh. Ah, very cool. Now keep it up, guys. Ah, we got some subs coming over here very soon. The general government has capitulated. The Polish Home Army exists. Go, 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 and do whatever we need to do. The Kingdom of Belgium has been called into the war. Anything here? Drum up war support. We might actually do that right now. Even though, mm, we have extra bonus. Oh, actually, hold on. We might get, be able to get out of that. Home of the free. We have a majority in Congress, which I do want to keep. But since we are at war, let's close this out. We need 150. Let's save our political power. I want to go to, like, war economy, even though we are... We're doing pretty darn well. Oh, boy. Ah, they got some planes around here, I see, huh? Do we have any extra spare planes? Well, we got some casts. Warp on, uh, interceptors. Sabers. Yeah, invading Norway is going to be a big old problem, probably. Crisis in Poland. Poland was well, first to collapse. Um, oh, well, that sucks. Lviv. Oh, boy. Things are just falling apart here, aren't they? Straight up falling apart. If you can do that area, that would be great. Oh, you declare war on Banat. Romania is going crazy. Ukrainian civil war? I thought they already were killing each other. Uh, I gotta play as Romania then someday, but they don't have unique focus tree yet. Polish home are you? Please tell me they have unique focus tree. Oh, they kind of do. Kind of. They have some of the generic stuff over here. But they still have a little bit of flavor with them. Status of the German settlers. Contact the government in exile. Yes. Ooh, the Iron Hussar. The Polish Great Purge. Bulwark against both of those isms. Cut cult of the Iron Hussar. Dealing with Sikorsky. Ew. The Unusual Federation. Huh. I am very intrigued as to what could happen here. But unfortunately, it's going to take some time before we can do too much. These Norwegians have to be taught a lesson. Uh, we got to wait for guys to show up, though. That sucks. Because I'm going to probably invade up here. I'm probably going to invade right there and take Nardovic if I can. Horthy resigns. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, what do we have over here? Ah, wartime CVs. That's fine. Let's get better CVs. That's good. Oh, boy. We're actually losing stuff. We shot down a couple of enemy planes. We lost a sub. That's fine. Whatever. How much... F they must have... I know Norway has some actual fuel. Let's see. Where do they get the fuel? Well, well do they not have oil? If they have no fuel, eventually they're going to run out. Especially if we're blockading them. So, at least they should run out. They have no refiners, so expand the, the Toronto Accords. The instability of rocking Germany gives us an opportunity we can't afford to pass up. An opportunity to gain a strategic foothold in mainland Europe. Most of the continent is under German influence states, but that's not all of it. The State Department is confident that in this volatile situation, there are countries within Europe that could be encouraged to join the TA, which would massively help our strategic position. All we have left to do is open up diplomatic channels. That would be a great thing to do. Let's continue going down and bite Sweden. Let's get Sweden in if we can. Sweden has officially been neutral since the beginning of the war, but they have consistently proven that they are willing to help whatever side promises them with the most benefit. By inviting Sweden into the Toronto Accord, we can apply pressure on the Baltic Sea and in German occupied Denmark. That would be probably the best thing we can do. Is there any way we can drum up war support? Uh, coups, launch strikes and German stuff. We want to do more orbital stuff, political actions, no industrial land appropriation, war efforts, propaganda efforts, and now we good for now as well. All right, so we got to keep an eye on this. I really don't want to see lose. I want them to lose all their fuel, all their fuel. Uh, you know, let's get let's start doing some more of this stuff. Let's form a department. We created it last time. Ooh, do we lose another sub? That sucks. Yeah, we did. But you know, these subs they're okay. 
Inflation decrease with the recent changes in the interest rates by the Federal Reserve. It's fallen by 0.2%. Basically, the same thing happened last time. It's fine with me. Oh, we shot down three planes. Nice. Oh, we lost another tax up. Whatever. We'll make plenty of where that's coming from. Nice. Reich's Commissariat Oslin is gone. And let us go ahead, support weapons too, and go to early mobilization. Next up, we shall do... Uh, it's 53. Let's get some better guns. Single receiver action. That'd be good. Alright, so have our soldiers shown up? Uh, some of them have. They're almost there. Still trying to get over there. Japan will be okay. I really hope we can get Sweden in. I really hope we can. For now, logistics companies, that'd be kind of nice. Less supply usage. Uh, 54. Rocket artillery. Marines. Let's get better Marines because we're going to use them right now, basically. No, Japan, it's okay. Just give me the equipment. You don't need to go to war. I, you, I know you probably do. I know you probably really, really, really want to go to war. Just gotta wait, man. Just gotta wait. Just wait a little bit. All right. Let's go and start planning the invasion. And of course, the Marines are here quicker than anyone else. Uh, honestly, they're, they're probably stacking quite a few soldiers here. Oh, how big is their army? Ah, oh, it's not that big. Actually, we might be able to win if they have light infantry. These Marines, though, they're 20 combo width, so they're not weak. They're not too weak. All I need is one port. That's all we need. A single port. Tough ombre division, huh? I don't want to sacrifice anyone, so, uh, let's try from Skepa Flow. Again, Bergen. I could send him right here to help out attack whoever is here, but that's really dangerous, and we don't really know how the situation is going to handle itself. I mean, if I had 40 combat widths, I would, but I, oh, I'll just do Bergen for now. You know what? With you guys here, I'm going to do this as well. That'd be fine. You guys, more subs. You lost a couple subs, so fill them out. That'd be good. How many men have we lost? We've lost... Well, the UK has lost 23,000. They only have 10 divisions, which isn't bad. We only have 7 here. Throw on... Are you guys in Japan? You guys are the ones in Japan. That's fine. You guys are here down close to Mexico. It's fine. Hopefully Mexico doesn't attack us. Are they in the OFN? No, not OFN. They're not in the Toronto Accords. Kingdom of Montenegro refounded. Interesting. Huh. That's cool. Germany's... Really not. Oh, not having a good time, but let's see. This is good information. They have one division there. One singular light division. Light if. Okay, Britain, you are invading somewhat smart if you can take that tile. Did they invade or did they pair drop? Navally invade, I mean. You guys are still down there. I don't really want to send them, though. If they can actually get Bergen. Yes. They can maybe get Bergen. Yes. Yes. Come on, land, land, land. Ah, oh, we they did it. They did it. Great. Head on over. That's okay. We lost couple, another sub. Necessary losses. Even though the submarine might not think so. Are you guys here yet? End of the Hungarian Kingdom. A new republic. Oh, that's sad. Oh, wow. The Slovak Republic. Oh, why does that exist? Republic of Carpatho, Ukraine. That is a sad Hungary. That is sad. Oh, my goodness. Romania's got to get taken out. Ooh. Former department, that's good. Inter uh, we we'll do that as well. Uh, over here, I'm not sure which Germany's going to win, to be honest with you, so we're not going to do Germany. Oh, look at that. Oslo, that looks, looks pretty good. Just in case... We could do Italy. Why not? Italy is looking okay. Baltic Confederation. Passive Diplomacy. Yeah, they don't have unique focus tree, which makes sense. Now let's invite Sweden. And let's invite Portugal. The Iberian Peninsula that has been held at an arm's length by both Allied and Axis powers, but the region presents us with an important opportunity. By inviting Portugal into the Toronto Accord, we can apply pressure on Germany's southern flank in the Mediterranean and France and have a sip of our nice warm coffee. Never mind, it's lukewarm. But fascist coup in Hungary, inflation continues to decrease. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with that. We still have how much inflation? 4.1. Totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, what happened here with the uh, front line? Uh, let's go ahead and make it a little bigger, maybe. Thank you very much. And do we have our guys here yet? We almost have enough organization. Sweden! Sweden! Unfortunately, the Swedes have refused to offer to join the Toronto Accord, setting their declared neutrality. Neutral, huh? Yeah, are you trading with Germany still? I don't know, man. Three. Two. Just go ahead. If the Brits can do it, so can we, right? Actually, we're invading there, so we're just going to go in there. Oh, they own that, which means we won't get that much supply. 
But if they're shifting their divisions around, we should be able to land here pretty nicely and then invade from here and push as hard as fast as possible. The Prague Uprising. Ooh, checks? Yes, yes. Can I send you supplies or something? Lend lease, start lend lease. Eh, probably not. Now, the only thing I like about Poland here is, is this thing I kind of talked about a little bit earlier. The Unusual Federation. It looks like that's like Hungary, maybe? Maybe the uh, Tortured Brother, Ches Chesko, the Enslaved Brother, and Slovensko. Oh, the Two-Faced Brother. A Union of Liberated Brothers. That looks awesome. So they get, like, cores on Czechoslovakia or the Czechs and Slovaks. Maybe not Hungary, but Zapotoslavia. I would love to see someone form Zapotoslavia. Cool. All right, so at this point, that's fine. Just get up there for now. Just kind of unite these guys. Cool. All right, Marines, you did a great job. Come on down here and push as hard as hell. Go, go, go. I don't want to get this to the Brits because, well, there's no reason to. Oslo. Sweden, you failed. I mean, my goodness. You had such an opportunity to do well, but I took two ports, man. Two ports. Come back here when you're done. Sorry. Not interested. Strength-wise, they're not looking great. Carrier Primacy? Good. Let's get some warped. Carrier Task Forces, Organization for Cruisers and Carriers. Those are my, like my two favorite things. Cruisers and Carriers? Yes, please. Oh, you know what you could do? You could maybe even circle these guys. Now, that would be awesome. Now, you might get encircled yourself. But, uh, Swiss Revolution. The Swiss are angry, too. Great. I, it would suck to have a German Civil War right now. If I was playing Germany, I would really probably hate it. But what matters the most is that we kill off that enemy division first. Lovely. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, uh, oh, the tiny little Swiss Liberation Army. That's okay. Led by Guisson. Hmm. Americans and no. Brits. Just killing each other. Hey, they invited up there too. Great. The Slovenian Declaration is separated from itself from Germany. What? Slovenia? What's a Slovenia? This is a mess. Ah, uh, beautiful. We basically cut them off. Or at least the UK did. The UK so far seems to be very competent. Which is sometimes very unusual in my campaigns. So, interception group, great. Let's grab another level of interception group because we can. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of these guys. Great. National Republic of the Ukraine is gone. Southwest Red Army has done pretty well for themselves. Uh, let's see. Well, I want to say better dead than red sometimes, but... You know, we'll take whoever ally we can get right now. Mm, we could go to partial mobilization. And that's probably what we're going to do first. Because technically, we were at war, even though we probably didn't even ask Congress. But, you know, you know, that's okay. It is the 50s, and it's turned into a time where we don't need to ask Congress for anything, right? Divisional branch started the Benelux Revolution. God dang, son. The Grand Duchy of Luxembourg has declared war on the Reichs Bezirke Westland. This is a mess. The revolutionary movement, but they're paternal autocrats. Fanatical revolts? Very cool. So since you guys are here, I'm actually going to tell you just to come over here. The Marines can do the backup stuff for now. Or the uh, thing. But you guys got to get on the front. Invite protocol. Let's see what they say. In which we will activate the reserves. We don't need to do that yet. Air Corps reconnaissance? Yes, please. In order to successfully intervene in Europe, we must have an idea of what exactly we're going into. With the help of our British allies, we will conduct a widespread and comprehensive aerial reconnaissance campaign, which would prove invaluable to military planners. Yes, look at this. Uh, I hop out here too right now. Portugal? Portugal? You realize you must make a decision. Yes, no. This is not going to end very well for you. Ah, single re receiver action. Very good, though. That's really good. Let's get some better motorized for now. Of course, I still want more APCs, but the reason I want to go to war as well is to help out our ability to research and get more army XP. Because I need more army XP right now. Guys, just go ahead. Get to Sweden. I don't know why they didn't want to join. I mean, we literally invaded. It's not like the Germans are going to do anything. Good. I love splitting Norway into me and the UK. Who could ask for more? Ah, the Polish Home, Ar Ar home Army is doing great. Someone did let leave in the comments that we should leave, like, uh, the Polish... Um, let them be a little buffer zone between the Germans and the Russians. Oh, we'll see what happens. Ooh, um, I, well, I want to split this up between me and the UK, but 
It's probably best if it's under me, since we're kind of the guiding the light here. So we'll take all the states for now. Hopefully we can have him as a puppet, though. That's what I really, really like. Nice job. Now, sweet. Sweet. You had options. You did have options. And now we're right next to you. Now what do we do? Can I... Ah, uh, Norwegian occupation. There we go, Norwegian liberation. So, the Norwegians have finally been liberated from their European tyranny. Now, while our occupation is a friendly one, we must set up a temporary administration to ensure a smooth transition from dictatorship back to a free, independent Norway. The time has come, and it's finally time to start Norway's transition back to a normal, functioning nation. Let's help out Norway. Ah. Uh, oh, they've united Soviets. The U.S. is over here. Ah, uh, the transitional authority of Norway. Interesting. Ah, I like that flag. Led by Keller Emrek Raki. Rocky? Uh, do you... Are you a boxer? Ill illegitimate government. London exiles. Well, actually, they should get an event there eventually saying that they don't want any more London exiles. Hello. Lee's coup? Or lies coup? Hmm. Norwegian junta. Oh, they really wanted to go crazy. Oh, they wanted to go nuts. Our Norwegian Himmler? Oh, that sounds like fun. But now they the friendly occupation, a formal membership into the Toronto Accord, the emergency government. Good, hopefully they'll do that. Purge Quislingites, that should be good. Nice. Stabilizing the nation, the free Norwegian army, renowned diplomatic ties, introduce democracy, Alt for Norge. Norga. Very cool. So I still don't understand why they don't the Swedes didn't want to get involved. Oh look at that. They're looking pretty good down here. I love that. Everything around there is a mess. Ah, partial mobilization. We are at war, so why not? And then we'll get some more war support soon. We're going to need to build up some roads around here. So we can have even more factorinos. Yes. Sorry, I'm avoiding the south right now. Oh, well. We'll build up roads eventually. Like now. Florida? It's also recommended to me at one point on my Discord server. I should play in the states mod. There's a state. There's a mod for Hoi4 where each state is independent, which I played before as Texas. But it was recommended I play as Florida. Play as Florida and do whatever I want with them. That sounds like a lot of fun. Play as Florida. Mm. I think that'd be a great idea. Go ahead and do that. Uh, you know what? Maybe build some more dockyards. 80%. And maybe a few more military factories. Uh, boom, boom. There you go. Happy 1954, my friends. Oh, um, oh, they were doing well, but now they're gone. Hmm. Unfortunate. So, now what? I do kind of want to go to war with... Uh, I, still, I just want to go to war with Sweden. They say no. Well, you're going to learn our democratic ways, our peaceful democratic ways, by force. Can I invade? Can I invade Denmark? I would love to. Oh, look, unremarkable industry, okay, and ideological fanaticism, even though they're social democrats. Cool. I guess you can be uh, fanatical social democrat. I guess. I guess those things aren't mutually exclusive. Let's see. Okay. 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 Uh, ship-wise, what are we doing for ships? Smoke generators wouldn't be bad. What is that? Continued battleship development? Has naval development. Oh, well, I guess not. It looks like we can't really do much there. Uh, over here, can't really do much either. We can grab this one, though. Synthetic aperture guidance radar, so it helps us with our air stuff. That'd be kind of nice. Ah, so polio vaccine begin test. The ch child winces. Mumbles something inaudible. Blurs of yellow and white. Lights glaring in the space behind his eyes. Nearly blind him. And he struggles to shield himself from the sight. The nurse beside him half rustles him to a seat as a doctor prepares his syringe. Taps it with the ease of a, of a professional and injects a solution into his veins. The child is released and helped to his feet and staggers off. Quite unaware that he's become part of the most controversial experiment in American history. It's a special day here at the Watson's home for crippled children. Dr. Jonas Salk stares at the line of children sitting and standing in the aisles beside or behind the crowded clinic and prepares his next dose of the polio vaccine. There is much work to be done before the day comes to its close and the data to be gathered. If everything goes well, there's no guarantee that it will, but the disease which killed Roosevelt's legs and has robbed millions of a healthy life might be stopped, eradicated even given sufficient time. But if it does not, he wrestles the thought from his consciousness. If it does not, perhaps others will be will build on some aspect of his work and make it work and make the enterprise worth it. And he is still a doctor after all. He has been trained to deliver the worst of news to hopeful audiences. This will simply be the biggest audience yet. I hope this goes well. Yeah, Bob. Hey, man. I don't want people losing their legs. Hopefully it works well. But Eric Eric Aerial reconnaissance. Getting detailed intelligence of our adversaries in Germany and Europe has always been an issue. What would be ideal is if we could simply fly over their territory and photograph it directly, but that could be done without them simply stopping us. 
could it? As jet aircraft begin to mature, even more impressive feats are possible. Planes can now be built that can fly high up in the stratosphere at the same speeds unlike anything before. Theoretically, with this, we could simply fly over the enemy air defenses or even with their radar ceiling, out of reach from whatever they can bring to bear, of course. The reality is that we don't know the capabilities of enemy air defenses, and sending planes straight over enemy airspace in times such as these would be profoundly risky, but perhaps it's worth a risk taking. They can't hide from us, no, no, no. And I still need to do, like, this stuff, presidential mandate. This completes the focus for 52 to 56 policies. Uh, oh, that automatically completes. That's 70 days. We, we want to intervene now. A, the British armament. The island of Britain is the last strongest holdout of democracy in Europe, as well as the second power of the Toronto Accord. They must have the sufficient capabilities necessary to combat the Nazi menace. Now that we intervened, I mean, I wish we could do more. Like, seriously, like, if we win Norway, can we intervene in Denmark? Can we get pressure Denmark to open up to us no matter what happens? Can we intervene... Like, even if Sweden says no, like, oh, we understand that. Death of Himmler. Oh, hello! Himmler's dead. I, I was not expecting this. That is interesting. Okay. What? Well, while the official reports released to the public detail that the Reichsführer was assassinated by Judeo Bolsheviks, the nature of his death and inconsistencies is in the official story have created conspiracy theories on this issue. Um. God, that's got to be have so many conspiracy theories. Like, did he actually die? Was he murdered? Did he actually, like, fake his death? Like, there's so many questions I could ask, but floating airfields? Yes, please. Uh, for now, actually, let's see if we need more ships. Seven more subs. That's great. Come over here. Help out everyone else. And the Free Cossacks Army has capitulated, and so has the Banat against the Romanians, and Britain stands victorious in Malaya. The sun still shines over the realm. You bet it does as we're protecting them. Heavy cruisers, or light, really, really light cruisers. That's not bad. Not bad. Uh, well, actually, these are heavy cruisers, while these... Are light cruisers so hmm, it's it's kind of hard to tell it says it's bad but no, I don't know we'll see what happens I, I just want to go to war like I can improve relations with the Borman probably not a good idea uh, Hadrish uh, I like Hadrish well maybe but maybe not real life Hadrish but I like seeing him there anything there anything there Monstein I kind of want Monstein to win that'd probably be the best option for us if honestly we just completely take out all of Germany Dig or die? Sikorsky declared general regent in Poland. The night descends over Poland. Dig or die. Equipment productions. Less reliability, but better production costs. Let us go ahead and grab our widespread mechanization. Cool. If that's the case, you guys. Go ahead and train. You all train in Japan if you need it. You all. I don't want you to train. You guys, you can also train for now. Just because we need more army XP. We gotta get it. Alright, so we got more political power. I could invest in here. The moderate coup within the Wehrmacht Junta launched a counter coup against Manstein's command. Removed von Manstein from power. Hans Speidel as he will serve as temporary commander of the Wehrmacht Junta. Okay, sure. Why not? Industrial speed computing. 5% more construction speed. Is that really worth it? I don't know, man. Industrial resource efficiency gain, more construction speed, sending weapons to Britain. Light aircraft, uh, it's only 1%. I, I want more res more construction speed. Eh, it's not really worth it, though. It doesn't seem very much worth it. This, though, more armor probably would be, but let's save it for now. Sending weapons to Britain. With the sudden collapse of the Germans into the Civil War, the fighting risks spilling outside of the Reich's borders and the threat to our allies' security is of greater importance than ever. It is therefore important that we prepare our most powerful ally and our great partner in Europe, Britain, for any eventuality. Some are suggesting we begin large shipments of weapons to accelerate their mobilization armament. Shoot. Give them stuff? Uh, yeah, might as well. We probably don't even have it. They've already probably given us stuff, so let's activate the reserves. Although our standing military is in grand and formidable force, we have millions more in reserve forces which should be used in an invasion of Nazi Europe. We should rally these uh, future troops to our cause. That'd be probably a good thing. Uh, let's see. You know, let's jump up some war support. Why not? Let's go ahead and do that. That seems like a good idea for now. And then next we'll go ahead and increase our support in Congress. That'll be very good. And I'll be honest, like I, like I said earlier, I really wish there was a little bit more that we could do as the United States. I mean, we're watching, but can we do like things like help out the Polish? I think that'd be an awesome thing we do that. Maybe help out the, uh, maybe even the Swiss. The Swiss and the Polish? I mean, at this point, it's 54. We got, we're working on jets. We might be able to send them supplies as well. I think that'd be great. I mean, maybe the Finns as well, but maybe that'd be later on. I think that'd be kind of cool. Like, like, we see all the Red Menace over here. What's going on? The Treaty of Honolulu. The desire for Japanese freedom has finally been heard. A new nation enters the stage. 
We maintain their mili our military bases and occupation of specific islands. Ooh. So they left, huh? Or Oh yeah, they left. Um I don't know, man. Is that really right? Nation building? The conservatives? It's it's almost been ten years, roughly ten years, but uh I don't know, man. I'm gonna leave my guys there for now. It's probably best if we do that. Lay groundwork for opposition. Oh, the Francis Field trial. So isn't it? This is how it happens in school. Thousands of schools across America, from Maine to California, children are brought in class size batches to the school clinic for what they're told will be a mandatory vaccination. Line by line, they are brought to the doctors, their arms swabbed and their veins brought to the surface with a quick tap. Then they are injected with what might be or might not be the cure for the malaise which crippled the president, or the one of the previous presidents. The cure has worked in all levels of testing, human and animal. Through the production of chemicals which kill polio virus, but leave chemical traces in the bloodstream, the vaccine forces the immune systems it enters to produce antibodies in an active immunological magic. If everything works out well, the vaccine will ensure that the host remains inoculant against polio for the rest of his lifetime. Or I guess her lifetime as well. Everyone involves, involved knows this, and certainly the official stance is one of confidence, but there's also the unspoken ele elephant in the room no one dares to address. There is a small, but not insignificant chance that the vaccine virus samples might remain alive. In other words, the vaccines might cause polio instead of ending its spread. Only time will tell, though. And the end of the experiments will show us the results. The nation waits for the results, of course, and the fate of millions yet born hangs in the balance. This could be it. Oh, God, let's hope so. Man, I don't want to cripple children, man. That is... One thing I don't want to see happen. Activate the reserves, the North Sea military exercises, and the North Sea is one of the front lines of our global struggle against the Germans, and now we can make a push on it. By conducting a series of military exercises in the North Sea, we can communicate our strength through the Germans, we get naval XP, war support, naval exercises, and yeah, that'll be good. And let's go ahead and prepare ourselves for floating airfields. Well, we should already have a lot of experience with this, but some mass strikes. Yes, just help out those carriers. I love carriers so much. Am I making carriers? I am making at least one. Inventor of the Solar Cell, a new technological breakthrough for the U.S. as Daryl Chaplin, Calvin Fuller, and Gerard Pearson at Bell Labs announced the creation of the first practical silicon photovoltaic thingamabob, or cell. Though rudimentary, this solar cell is able to convert the energy of solar radiation or sunlight directly into electricity, even to the extent it is able to power electrical equipment in the lab. Though it is still hopelessly weak compared to the electric electricity generating potential of coal and oil, it is perhaps maybe a valuable tool for the energy needs of tomorrow. Technology marches forward, which is a great thing. Uh, well, maybe not for the economy right now, but that's okay. Sheet metal receivers, good, good. Let's get some more innovation going. War time, better, better, better. We have only 22. I think we need 25, don't we? And since we're here, we could launch coups, but we're not going to do that for now. Let's increase our support in the House of Representatives next. There we go. Make sure we have a nice, comfortable lead. Oh, that's a little bit. That's way too ahead of time. So we're done here for now. Industry-wise, it's 54, so we can't do anything here yet either. Air doctrine, we might as well do stuff. Interception defense, let's get some more ground support. That'd be good, because we can. And then, our t oh my gosh, artillery is so far away. There's not, not even a point to do it. Uh, let's improve APCs. Rudimentary composite ceramics, more armor, yes please. Keep training, guys, keep training. I feel like I should set up a naval invasion using our marines, but I, I just don't know. Senators criticize policy. We're going to hit them back. All right, so senators, 65%. We lost 10%. Jesus Christ, we lost 50 political power and the last 10%. Woo, that was costly. Adolfsburg, Verwaltungsrat. All right, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and start uh, seeing if we can do some naval invasions from here. Just in case. I don't think we'll actually need them, but we can try it out. The Congo conflict, Africa has a voice. Cool. The inter-party inter government. Ah, it looks like in Finland. Oh, not Finland. Ireland. The Mediterranean Union. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay. Well, whatever. Y'all do you. Ah, I won't do you, but you do you. Just have them invade, and then these Marines go in from Oslo as well. The North Sea military exercises. Interesting. Great. We refuse to comment on such suggestions about possible military actions, but with Germany chaos, it is important our armed forces are prepared for any eventuality. We will launch a large naval exercise simulating naval warfare and amphibious landings in the North Sea and English Channel. Working together with our Toronto Accord partners to prepare our forces, launch the exercise, we get slightly more uh, times. Actually, don't go to Arthos. Go here, so we can cut these guys off completely. And now we can have a great crusade. The Nazi menace is one which will not be sat satisfied until it is the entire world under its control. And as such, the fight against it must be take in, must take a global character. Our national purpose in the 20th century and the greatest set of abilities will be to defeat them. Direct intervention, we get more war support, and good God, we're, things are going to go crazy. Uh, I want to make sure, though, 
that our southern border is okay. Because these guys, well, we trust Mexico to a degree. They're liberals. They're cool. You never know what could happen. A potential coup, coup could screw us quite up. And how have I not gotten this yet? Mm. Put them somewhere safe. Like Kansas. No one would mess with Kansas, right? No one would. And made some more military factories in Kentucky. Oh, look at that manpower. Oh, look at that. So nice. Oh, another division. Great. Uh, I could throw you there, but I need you over here, probably. Hey, look at that. We got 25 army XP. Great, 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 great. Armor divisions. Throw these on now. Finally, we can throw on one. Mechanized infantry. I prefer APCs, to be honest with you. Finally. 29 organization. And does that hurt us at all? Hopefully not. And we also have four support companies that, that are actually pretty good. So it looks like the Greater German Reich is doing well under Bormann. Which is obviously not good for us. But we'll see what happens. Control the skies. Oh, there is no stability. Uh, how is everyone doing here? The shoot stop is looking not great. The emergency Wehrmacht is locked, or Wehrstadt is not looking great either. They're probably the weakest sheet metal receivers. Very good. Over here, we're pretty much done with that stuff. Let's grab some... More recon. I like recon. Support companies are always useful. As long as you're using them. So, oh my goodness. House of Representatives criticized us again. Uh, I'm not even clicking that yet. Actually, I will hit them back. I will hit them back. Let's do some early, early auto loaders as well. Please, let's not lose support. I don't want to lose a minus 20. I don't want to lose a 25% bonus we have for having a majority. Hit him back. 60% goes to. Okay, 65%. Nice. We spent 50 political power for that. So the jam session. That week, the crickets sing loudly in Memphis, the capital of the American gospel music industry. It is a city of possibility and hope and the things that which make men dance and sing in the neon dark, but not for the three men huddled around a room in the sun records struggling to birth the song worth playing. God, I tell you, man, try to come up with songs. It's difficult. There's a guitarist, Winfred Moore. He's led a local group, the Starlight Wranglers. He's, then there's the bassist, Bill Alexander Black. He's been remarca remarkably successful playing concerts for the army and pubs across the South. Then there's a man from Lupedo, Lupedo, Tennessee. Failed music in school. Failed auditions for the Longfellows, or Songfellows. Failed to make a proper track before he got thrown in. He's trying hard, but everyone has but the Vegas of hopes for him. I'm um, definitely not like that guy, though. Now it's late in the night, and the three remain locked in struggle. Bill and Winfred are uh, Winfield are tired, and begin to prepare to leave. Perhaps tomorrow lighting will strike, or uh, perhaps never. The Lupedo man takes his guitar, preparing to leave as well, then inspiration strikes. Elvis Presley takes his guitar and his crooning voice and begins to play, That's all right. But that's not all he does. He jumps, skips, taps his feet. Shocking, unprecedented, addictive. Bill is infected. He begins to do the same, letting his body melt into the harmonic gold flo floating on the airwaves. When they finish, Sam from the control booth pops his head and asks, Back up, find somewhere to start and do it again. Yeah, coming up with songs is not easy, man. Not easy. Sub, oh no, we get orbital rocket tests now. Ooh, you know what? We might as well. Mass strikes. We got the best navy in the world. Floating fortresses, you bet they are. Orbital rocket experiments. Now we can exp begin serious experimentation with larger rockets capable of perhaps reaching such a speed in space to enter or the orbit of the Earth. If successful, we, these have multiple applications, both in opening the door to civilian spacecraft and as military purposes like ballistic missiles. Great! Really great. And how's our stockpile doing? We're not doing great. We need a lot more motorized, a lot more support equipment. Are we... Well, maybe we should... I could probably stop training for now. I don't want to hurt the supplies we have. I want to be able to make as much as we possibly can. Uh, is anyone suffering from attrition? You guys are not. You guys are okay. You guys are okay. You guys look pretty good as well. Uh, actually, you can finish training those extra soldiers up. You guys looking good as well. So, now that's better. That's much better, actually. We need to make more, more, more. We need more military factories. Okay, Noble Sibirsk. You declare war on the Soviet Union. Uh, I'm, that's pretty gutsy, man. I mean, considering your position compared to all these guys, that's... That's pretty gutsy, not gonna lie. Cool, 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 though. Ah, uh, the Velstadt is not looking good. Did, did they do the deal with the devil? Because they st they stopped attacking each other. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So, a great crusade. Direct intervention. And before we do anything else, they might unlock more trees here. What is this? The Czech resistance movement exists. Oh, they're gone. Uh, let's go ahead and do this so we can get the president mandate, mandate done. Now that we've successfully realized our legislative action, or agenda, our political position is more secure than ever. The American people are blessed with true and confident leadership. And we have to do this... Yeah, that's good. I don't know if we had a time limit until, like, the elections back up, but the Great Crusade, direct intervention. As the Civil War rages on in the once might greater German Reich, years after it beginning with no end in sight, the evil empire continues to tear itself 
tear itself apart from the inside. The oppressed and enslaved peoples of Europe have risen up to challenge their oppressor, taking up arms with extreme bravery against the cruel Nazi occupiers who squabble amongst themselves. With this continued disintegration of Germany's grip on the continent, an opportunity presents itself. With years of infighting and anarchy in Central Europe, the German military is likely to be significantly destroyed at the hands of itself and rebel forces, as our reconnaissance has suggested. Its nuclear weapons, the greatest deterrent to such a direct intervention, are likely to have been, in large part, destroyed or lost in the fighting. Of those that remain, the command structure required to deploy them cannot have survived without damage. Therefore, an increasingly vocal faction of all political mili and military branches within the United States and the Toronto Accord governments are calling for a direct intervention to stamp out the Nazi menace once and for all. Others, however, insist that the risks are too great. Despite the civil war, there remains a chance that fac the factions of the German military could respond with nuclear strikes, a risk that, they say, cannot be count counted countenance, at least for the time being. At the same time, many are saying we cannot stand idly with a chance to end the Nazi regime once and for all and bring its reign of death and terror to an end. The other Toronto Accord governments have, at this point, agreed to accept any decision by the U.S., which is awesome! Thanks for the blank check, guys, despite disagreements within their own governments. The final decision lies with you, Mr. President. Oh, we're going to smash a swastika. We cannot take the risk. We're going to launch a great crusade. We want to get intervene. We want to intervene right now. Absolutely. World tension. We're going to war. Woo! Oh, yeah. Here we go, boys. We are looking at the wrong group to invade. Oh, I love this. We're going to invade all three. Actually, the emergency bear shots are minor power, which means we're going to... Can I go to war Denmark? Please let me invade Denmark. Bingo. They're in. We don't have to invade them then. I did not realize that they were in. Who is this? Russian Liberation Movement. Anti-German Coalition. Ah, oh, yeah. With a pact... Oh, that's, that's a really nice Toronto Accord. With a free French Republic like this, they look in mighty thick, son. But they got a lot of resistance. So, before we do too much, uh, I'm actually going to call you guys here. Uh, come to Norway first if you can. And here, we're going to do this. Take you off of there, subs. You've done a great job, but you're going to do more sub stuff like this. Completely blockade them here. Oh, we have a carrier done too. Uh, just come right there. That's, that'll be fine, even though we have... Now four carriers there. That's fine. Whatever. You guys. You're going to do the same thing. You, you're you right there. I'm going to leave the other fleet out for now. Just because we we can leave it there. It'll be fine. Uh, Marines. It, it doesn't matter. Just come here. Because I'm calling you in almost immediately. Uh, actually, you know what? No. I'm not. I lied. You guys. You're done training. You're all going to come down here. No. No, no, no. There we go. Because we're going to try, the Marines are going to try to invade. It's going to be probably a pretty bad idea. But I'm going to do it anyways. The Pin Pine Tree Division, huh? You're going to try to take Wilhelmshaven. Alright, boys. Uh, that might be... Ooh, Bremen. Okay, so they're, they're not going to go into this spot of the water. That's good. One, two. Two more Marine Divisions. Y'all come from here. Hamburg. That'd be great. And have these guys set up as extra little help to invade from here to... Ooh, I don't want to have any problems. Build on top of it as well. I could invade over here, but I don't want to have any issues with that. So, great. Call them in. Except Denmark. Norway, that's totally fine. Fanatic German defense. So, radicalized by Nazi ideology, millions of Germans are prepared to fight to the death to defend their fatherland from our invasions. This will certainly not be an easy fight, and already there are memories of the invasion of Japan, where men, women, and children fought for their empower emperor with whatever weapons they could find, clinging on to every inch of territory with tooth and nail as thousands of kamikaze pilots targeted the invasion fleet. There's little doubt in the minds of TA planners that this war will be similar. Good luck to our men. Uh, we gain spirit fanatic German defense. Oh, good lord. On their territory, the Toronto Accords intervention. Another war. <sighs> yes, that is fine. Uh, you guys, do you have anything Fortress Buster? Yeah, let's get Fortress Buster for these guys. Any upgrades before we really try to sink our teeth into this? Uh, I could do that. I'm going to save Omar Bradley for later. Any upgrades? No. Eisenhower? No. That's fine. Boys, hope you all get ready. Oh, Denmark is joined, maybe? Uh, you know what? Screw it then. New Zealand, Canada. I'm going to say no for now. Yes. Everyone else, though, yes. Boys, the war support surge with a great and righteous war against the Nazi menace just. Oh my goodness, the people of Germany's broken out as well. Love it. The German spring. Even the Germans are tired. With our the war against the righteous war against the Nazi menace just beginning, we have benefited from the upswelling of patriotism and a rally to the flag effect. Our supported Congress has seen a healthy increase and we enjoy higher support among the people of the country as a whole. The people are behind us. More support, great. And both the Senate and the Senate. I did not know that America had two Senates. Uh 
Okay, so it's really House of Rebels ended this, but this video's gone long enough. I apologize, but we will have to end it here, in which tomorrow we will invade the Nazi jug juggernaut and liberate Europe from at least those fellas, because we got some uh, people we got to liberate over here too, probably eventually. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will beat back the German hold and liberate at least part of Western Europe. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.